Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of The Fortune Teller Shop. What stories can I tell today? Hmm. I've got a few, few stories to tell, but I have to sort of think about them and structure them in my brain first before I sort of talk about them. Um, actually, I do have a bit of a story, um, well, sort of, kind of. I had uh, these two uh, clients the other day and um, at the end of the reading, one of them said that, she, oh, how did she say it? She said she hopes God will forgive her. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> just having a bit of a chat here. I had a client, yeah, I had a client just, I think it was two days ago. After the reading, she said that she she hopes God will forgive her. And I said, what, what do you mean? And she said, she hopes God will forgive her for having a reading. And I said, oh, I said, well, we didn't do anything evil, did we? We just talked about your life and possible choices. And, and I said, and this is connected to God, isn't it? Aren't we tapping in, tuning into the higher self and the higher realms? And she was like, yeah, I suppose. I was a bit saddened for this client who thought somehow this was against God, you know, but I suppose that's what religion sort of, uh, you know, preach, isn't it? They want people to disconnect from the higher self. They want, they want you to, they want us humans to not think of ourselves as being able to connect directly to God, you know. They want us to disconnect from the higher self and our intuition you know they want us to ignore that because then they can have power over us so that's what you know that's what I thought when she when she said that I felt kind of sad for her because she hadn't come to that point in her life yet where she saw that using your intuition and divination is somehow separate from God when it's actually the same thing I think when she, when, um, when I said that to her, I think she, she I think she did, you know, she did, uh, understand because, you know, we just spoke for, uh, for half an hour and there was nothing evil about what I said or what, you know, what we were talking about, you know, it was about her love life. It was about her, her career. It was about her son as well. We talked about her son and his relationship and, um, there was nothing, you know, that uh, I think God would disapprove of. <laughs> and I explained to her, I see this as part of God. I said, I see this as us connecting to God. You know, I said, I don't see that there's a separation here. I said, we're asking the cards and we're asking the div divination, the divine to channel the messages to us. So I, yeah, I, I, I was kind of like um, disappointed for her really, not for me, because I've heard this before. I was like, oh, it's so sad that you think that way for yourself, you know, rather than seeing this as a gift that you received information about your life. Divination is when uh, we connect with the divine. Okay, let me say that again. Divination is when we connect with the, the divine. Okay, so people for since the beginning of human history have used divination. They've used astrology, for example. Uh, they've used geomancy, which is reading the earth, sand, um, you know, these are, you know, two of the most ancient types of divination. And, uh, you know, we have palmistry as well. When people started looking at their hands and wondering what the lines of your hands mean. To me, when I do divination, when I do tarot or, or astrology or numerology, um, any type of fortune telling it's called, I call it as well. Um, I believe I'm connecting with the divine because we're tuning in to the higher self and the higher being. 
So I don't see it at all connected to the, you know, the devil or lower entities. I see it as reaching, going up and connecting with the higher plane, higher realms. And channeling is also, you know, also that. It's a type of channeling. Like when I use tarot cards, and you may have also experienced this too, is especially especially if you're an advanced reader or an experienced reader you start to read the cards and you tap into what they're saying you're not only looking at the meanings you know learning the meanings is for the you know early stages when you're learning the language of the cards but once you learn the language then you can start to read it's a bit like learning the alphabet you know when you're in kindergarten you're learning how to write the alphabet and how to read the alphabet but then when you become proficient in reading the alphabet, then you can write poetry, okay? You can write stories. You can write a novel because you've mastered the letters of the alphabet, okay? So back to divination. Divination is when we connect with the higher self and the higher universe or God. Some people call it God. And it's almost like a conversation and uh, I think it, I think you know the people that know how to do that are very very lucky because it's like you I always call it it's like you have an invisible Yoda I, I see the cards as like an invisible Yoda that always helps me whenever I need advice or direction sometimes the cards even tell me tell me off when I'm you know not being um, productive or proactive sometimes the cards will sort of show me that I'm being you know uh, one of my teachers used to call it a flopsy bunny. When you're being a flopsy bunny about life and you're not creating anything. Um, so, you know, the cards are a little bit like a coach, you know. I think that was kind of what I wanted to say.